so I have had a couple of requests to kind of go through my imaging template here in right now I'm using logic. Uh, I've got the same template for Pro Tools Studio One. Um, but right now the software I'm using is logic. So we're going to kind of go through my imaging template here and explain what happens where. And then we'll kind of look at this promo session that I did uh, a little while ago and kind of go through and I can show you how I do things um, my way. Now, keep in mind, this is my workflow, so yours may be a little bit different, but we'll kind of go through it. So first up, uh, we just want to take a look at the tracks here. And if I bring up the mixer, um, I can tell you right now, these first tracks down here, these are all voiceover tracks. They have uh, predetermined effects on them and that's where i put all of my voiceovers uh from different vo talent uh in this session i've got brian lee and i've got rachel mcgrath brian female uh or brian male rachel female brian female if i ask him to because he's very versatile um and then on each of these uh, VO tracks, there are different effects. Now, if we look at the first three tracks, uh, you'll see there are VO flat one, VO flat two, VO flat three. Um, these have absolutely no effect on them whatsoever at this moment. Now, one thing that I do in Logic is called bounce in place. So if I have an effect that I want to add to a voiceover, um, I will add it to a flat channel and then I'll show you what I do so I don't have to create a new track if I just want to add a quick filter. So for instance, we'll take this. For more ways to win the Metro PCS best seats in the house. We'll take that piece right there and say I want to put a, um, like a bit crusher type effect or even um, like a speak and spell. I would never do this, but we'll do it just for the hell of it. And do that. For more ways to win the Metro PCS best seats in the house. Obviously, I don't want a whole track of that. Um. <laughs> really cool plugin for sound design, by the way. So I want to do that. I don't, but. We'll do it just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, in Logic, it's called Bounce in Place. In Pro Tools, it's called Audio Suite. Um, I'm going to select the track below it, and then we're going to right-click on this here and go Bounce in Place. And uh, I'm going to bounce that to the selected track, which is VO Flat 2. And then you'll see right there, it's gone through and it's processed. <laughs> Obviously, I will not use that, but... So then I just go up to the flat uh, channel that I had this plugin on and turn it off. So that's how I do uh, effects that I don't want to take up a whole track for. Very rarely do I do stuff like that, but every once in a while I do. So we have three flat VO tracks. They're basically utility tracks or for when I just want it to have a regular, a regular VO sound. The K92-3 All-Star Jam. Um... <clears throat> Now, on each of the VO channels, I also have a gate that um, right there will kind of take out any room noise that might come through. With most of my VO talent, they've got really treated rooms, so I don't worry about it um, as much. But that's the first plugin on all of these channels, and it just takes out any room noise, any background hums, anything like that, and kind of cleans up the track so it's easy for me to edit. Um. Then let's go ahead and move on to the fourth channel. This is my high pass filter channel. I'll pull up the plugin here. This is a preset I stole from somebody and it's just a high pass filter. Um, it's looking like it's cutting off at about 472. And then we do a little bit of a, a uh, high end boost at 11232. So there's that. Um, and then that sounds like this. Go to K923Orlando.com. Gives it a little bit of a high pass sound. Uh, moving on to the next track is uh, H-Delay, which 
is a great plugin. I use it for an Echo. You can use it for a million different things, but this is what I use it for. Win tickets and automatically qualify for the grand prize. Just to kind of give it some, some depth. Um, so that's what I use that one for. Again, that's Waves H Delay. On the next channel, uh, I vary on plugins. Right now, for this session, I'm using Ultra Channel by Eventide. Um, sometimes I use uh, Speakerphone by AudioEase, and we'll actually go through my plugins, uh, and I can kind of show you what I'm using as far as plugins that isn't in my template. So uh, this is a setting that I came up with. Uh, it's called the JPhone Edit. So the, what it is is it's... Um, it's Eventide's Ultra Channel under the Effects and J Phone, but I turn the gate off because I don't need the gate. So um, if we solo this out, you'll hear how it sounds. Seats on stage during the All Star Jam. Kind of gives it that lo fi, crunchy, uh, filtered sound, and I really like it. It, it actually works really well, um, especially on Rachel's voice, where I kind of don't do a ton of treatment for her. But I, I do like to kind of filter her every once in a while. So that's what I'm using on the Crunch channel. Also, like I said, I will use AudioE speakerphone for some crunchy filters and also McDSP's Futz box. So uh, moving on. I, there, we go. there we go. Okay. So the next one is a stereo delay. And I'm going to play it for you. And you'll know exactly what it is because you've heard it before. Win sold out jam tickets seven times a day. Gives it a really stereo sound, a very wide sound. And the cool thing about that is that that very wide sound is um, also you can hear it in mono. And that's because this plugin is excellent. This is called Micro Shift uh, by Sound Toys. And I came up with this setting that gives it this really wide stereo delay but when you mono it out it doesn't have phasing issues so it's not going to sound like it's completely lost in the mix which is something you really deal with when you're dealing with stereo delays so that's uh that's kind of cool next up is the thin filter and a lot of times i will never use this on its own um, in fact i'm gonna copy this down I never use this on its own. I always use it layered with something else, and you'll hear why. Win sold out jam tickets seven times a day. It's really hard for something like that to cut through. So let me show you exactly how I would use it. Um, like over here. All right, so we'll throw that on the H delay channel, throw this one over here, and then... What I'm going to do is I'm going to just offset these just a hair, and then I'll bring the volume down on this one. And then... Win sold out jam tickets seven times a day. Win sold out jam tickets seven times a day. And you can do, like, panning effects and stuff. And, in fact, I'll bring the volume up a little bit more so you can hear it. Win sold out jam tickets seven times a day. So you'll hear that I um, I just go through and I kind of layer it. Uh, so that's what the thin filter is, and that's just the Waves Q10 parametric equalizer or paragraphic equalizer. Um, so there's that right there. And then all of those VO tracks um, feed. Let's do this so I don't. Um, all of those VO tracks feed into a VO bus, which is over here. And that just has a, a quick EQ on it. And then it also has a compressor on it. And then it's got a limiter on it to fatten it up really good. So that's the VO bus. Um, that all of the VO tracks go to. Next up, we have FX and music tracks. Um, the FX tracks are very clean. They don't have anything on them. They feed into a bus over here called the FX bus. 
and that effects bus is it's just got a gain on it of minus six so all of the effects are six decibels lower than the vo um, and my master processing will bring it up so that everything is glued together at, at a decent volume but this makes it so the vo is not fighting so much with effects so that's uh, minus six for all of the effects tracks uh, music tracks are pretty much the same. They are at minus six as well on this bus. But the other thing that I do is I have a EQ on it. It's a high pass filter and I cut it off at about 100, 100 hertz. And the reason why is I like to knock out a lot of the really muddy bottom end on the music tracks so it's not fighting with the rest of the mix. And generally, you're never going to notice the difference when I'm doing that. It just kind of crisps it up a little bit more and makes it so it's not so muddy so that's what i'm doing there um and then on each of the music tracks i also have some automation and in fact see here you'll actually see it right there right there is some automation i use one knob filter um and it's really cool let me actually play I'll play it from right here so you can hear kind of the effect. We'll open up the plugin too so you can see what's happening here. This in between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Win sold out tickets seven times a day. Automatically qualified to sit on stage during the jam. So what it's doing right there is it's doing kind of a, a low pass filter up into the regular sound of it. So. And it's this plugin's really great for that because it's just one knob. Once you turn the resonance off, um, you can just go through and basically draw your EQ curves and automate them. And so that's what I use that for. And that one knob filters on each one of my music tracks. So then, once we do that, then all of those, uh, all of these buses over here, we've got the VO bus, we've got the FX bus, the music bus. They all feed into this bus, the master bus. And again, here we've got a high pass filter that cuts everything below 30 hertz. Not that I really need it because I've already done a lot of filtering, but I just like it there for peace of mind. Cuts out any low end rumble that might have made it through. Next up, we have a C4, which is a setting that I stole from the guys down at Osterio, Southern Cross Osterio in Australia. And I really like it, so I stole that from them. Uh, following that, I've got a limiter. And following that, I've got reverb, because I really like the sound of reverb. Um, some people don't like it. Sometimes I turn it off, but for the most part, I really like the way it sounds. And I'll play you this full promo session, uh, and you can kind of hear what I'm doing with it. It's very light. There's only 2% uh, reverb on that in ratio with the dry signal so 98 percent of the dry signal and then two percent of the reverb signal and it really gives it a a good sound and then i just run a limiter over it one more time just to catch any of the peaks and it gives it kind of a, a really good fat sound now if a mastering engineer were looking at that they would probably lose their mind because that's a lot of compression and a lot of limiting but i've gone through i've tested it with on-air processing and it actually sounds really good um, so it's kind of one of those things where, you know, I just pay attention to my ears. I don't do the mathematics of it so much. And so that's really how I set up my template. Um, I have six effects tracks and six music tracks. <clears throat> so, uh, just a lot of really cool, stuff that I, I do and I try to keep my sound pretty consistent you know I don't do a lot of stutters I don't do a ton of, of really crazy type effects I try to kind of let the music speak for itself and really just brand the station around the music or the artist so in these promos um, this is for what's called the all-star jam for one of my clients in Orlando K92.3 and one of the things that we use a lot are artists' work parts. So you'll see here, we've got some Dustin Lynch liners, and he's one of the uh, stars of this, this show. Um, so we've got him kind of inserting some little artist sounds, and then 
we go into the VO people, and then we also have song hooks. So it's a pretty basic promo, and you're going to see there's not a lot of effects, and there's not a lot of really crazy things happening in it, but it works, and you can kind of see how everything is layered together. So without further ado, here is promo number one for the All-Star Jam on stage giveaway that we're running this this week. This year at the All-Star Jam, you'll be closer to Brett Eldridge and Dustin Lynch than ever before. It's going to be a hell of a night. Because you'll be sitting on stage. K92.3, putting you in the Metro PCS best seats in the house. Seats on stage. Listen between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Win sold out tickets seven times a day. Automatically qualified to sit on stage during the jam. Now, have we mentioned that you'll be sitting on stage? For more ways to win the Metro PCS best seats in the house, go to K92.3Orlando.com. The K92.3 All-Star Champ. Presented by RP Funding. Special thanks to Bud Light and Reed Nissan. So there's promo number one. And then promo number two, which is actually using the same effects for the most part. Um... But we've switched up the song hooks, and we've kind of made it, we've we've spun it a little bit different, so you'll hear it. The K92.3 All-Star Jam. Metro PCS Best Seats in the House Week. I just can't. Sit on stage with this year's star-studded lineup. I can't even. Win sold-out jam tickets seven times a day. Brett Eldridge, Gary Allen, within arm's reach. Listen between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. I seriously can't, but you can. Nothing on but the radio. Win tickets and automatically qualify for the grand prize. Seats on stage during the All-Star Jam. For more ways to win the Metro PCS best seats in the house, go to K92.3Orlando.com. The K92.3 All-Star Jam. Presented by RP Funding. Special thanks to Bud Light and Reed Nissan. And so there you go. That is a quick promo session. That's an overview of my template. Um... You know, we'll have to do, I'll do some more of these for sure. Kind of go, you know, piece by piece, but man, it's been a busy, it's been a busy summer for imaging. So it's, it's kind of taken some time to get some new videos out. So hopefully I can get a little bit more consistent, but that's an overview of the template. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, Gavin, G-A-V-A-N, Bruderer, B-R-U-D-E-R-E-R at gmail.com or hit me up on Facebook. My full name, Gavin, G-A-V-A-N, B-R-U-D-E-R-E-R. -E